Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I'm Cincinnati-based illustrator John McCoy, and this is my 61st, 61st, 61st daily drawing exercise, well, in this case, painting exercise. And for this one, I obviously did a portrait of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and it's based off of a statue that um, was a wedding gift for my grandma and grandpa, who are not with us anymore, but I'm sure they're up in heaven, smiling down at this beautiful watercolor. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't normally do watercolors, but I really enjoy doing this one. Um, watercolors are very interesting because they, bl they, they bleed into the paper and they tend to remain there. There's, there's unlike some, some media, uh, the addition of water does not really take up it does have a potential to do that if the watercolors are still wet, but the, it's not the case generally because the watercolors dry so quickly. Um, but this one took three hours in real time, um, and that's a that's a hefty hefty uh, amount of time spent on this one. But it was well worth it. I did end up using colored pencils. You'll see at the end of the video, and that's just to get a little bit tight uh, a finer line and also with my wrist propped against the paper pad I can get a little more stability in drawing some vertical lines in the folds of the fabric. Um, so I set up a studio life for the light sorry not life <laughs> studio light on this statue and um, listen to some music. I did get to listen to a little bit of Ave Maria um, <laughs> on the on my little music app and um it was it was a really good experience i like i i got to pray a little bit as i was doing it kind of like um just embracing kind of the peace and um, um imagining you know what what mary would look like in in person and um drawing inspiration from that as i work from this statue um but the blue I had this nice blue backdrop that I was using, and, I, and, and blue is a very Marian color. And then the green is actually from, believe it or not, a ping pong table. So for me, that's kind of like earth, and then the blue is sort of heavenly. So it's kind of a nice, I, I like that, that color choice that I chose to do there. And then I also like the fact that the lighting is a little bit warm, so you have like this nice, cool, um, white it, the statue wasn't really like realistically rendered but it had like really soft kind of like somewhere in between uh, a rustic sort of neutral monochromatic statue and something in um some real some realism in the colors of the flesh tones and the the hair and stuff so it's kind of like somewhere in between maybe like if you painted it realistically and then it was on a photoshop layer and you just dialed back that layer to like 20%. That's what the statue looks like. So I'm kind of going off of that. And I like it because it, it kind of has like this stark contrast with the light um, and the blue background and the, um, the green is, is a nice combination. Watercolors are actually, believe it or not, kind of easy to use. Uh, it, everybody's afraid of them, but, but honestly, um, there's a simplification. There's not as like oils you can blend and blend and blend. These, the, the fact that you, you're limited actually helps quite a bit. Um, it makes things simpler as you realize once you've put something down, you've put it down. So you have to be a little careful, but at the same time, it also lends kind of some peace that once it's down, it's down. So you kind of work, you tend to work more carefully, which is something I should be doing anyways as an artist, right? So I should, I should be more intentional with my brush strokes because that affords me to create um, efficiently, basically. So, yeah, there's the, there's the colored pencils at the end there. I used a, um, a Chinese crayon as a white one as well, and that really kind of cuts through even the colored pencils so I could always have a, add highlights in areas that I needed to. So that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. God bless you guys. I'll see you in the next daily drawing. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. <laughs>